What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Hard Gainer Fitness. I'm Jalon. Here on this channel, we help you defeat yourself and crush the scale. Let's go ahead and hit the scale. Last week I was at 167 point something. I know I was 167. Let's hit the scale today and see if I made some more progress. Alright guys, so the scale showed me at 168, so not exactly a pound. As the weeks are going on, I'm gaining more weight. It's coming on a lot more slowly than it was in the beginning. And that's basically because I'm still operating off the same calories and macros that I calculated for myself when I was 159. I'm closer to 170 now, so it's about time that I readjust my macros. Because if not, then the weight is just going to continue to slow down and slow down and slow down and eventually it'll just stop. So you already know what time it is. When it's time for the first meal, let's go ahead and put it together. Got meal number one, my smoothie, you already know what it is, I drink it every day. I realized that I hit a plateau. So after I had gained seven pounds is where I should have fixed my macros. That's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna basically revamp my meal plan to reflect what I'm wearing right now. Tip for you guys, five to seven pounds is where you should readjust your macros. Add 100 to 200 calories, depending on where you at. When I do it, I make sure I show you guys that you know too. But just know, you should readjust your macros if you're trying to build muscle every five to seven pounds. In my mind, I was thinking 10, it's time to switch it up. So I'll see y'all at meal number two. Well, I haven't had meal number two yet, but it's time to go work out. Um, I'm already running late, so we gotta hurry up and get there. Let's go. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You know what time it is. It's time to grow. All right, guys, I'm back from the workout. Um, eating meal number two, chicken and rice. That's my staple, man. I've been eating that for a while now. I got a lot to do in a little bit of time. I got homework to do, I got to edit, I got to fix my macros, and I still got a meal prep and get ready for work tomorrow, and so much stuff to do. But I'll see y'all at meal number three, and at meal number three, I will show you how I'm gonna go about fixing my macros so that you guys can do it too, all right? I have meal number three right here. It's the bowl of the Akashi Golden cereal that I always be showing y'all. Not a whole lot, but like I said, definitely packs a big punch. Here is the meal plan that I just came up with. And I wanted to do a whole new meal plan, but I didn't. So the first numbers that you see up there are 88, 34, and 23. So 88 grams of carbs, 34 grams of protein, and then 23 grams of fats. That's what I try to hit every meal at a minimum so that I can hit the numbers that I need to hit at the end of the day. Those are macros. All right, so I got that by taking the total number of macros per macronutrient and then divided that by five because that's how many meals I eat per day. So I got meal number one. Meal number one is that shake that I drink every morning. And that gives me 45 grams of protein, 107 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of fats. Then meal number two, is the two egg sandwiches. I didn't change either one of those two meals. And the macros that those give me are 46 grams of protein, 88 grams of carbs, and then 21 grams of fats. 
the mills number three and four are exactly the same. And the macros that those give me are right there, 34 grams of protein, 94 grams of carbs, and then 24 grams of fat. So when we get to the end, you'll see that I don't have enough fat. So I'm missing exactly 14 grams of fat. Right, so what I'm gonna do is just take a serving of olive oil because, because one serving of olive oil is exactly 14 grams of fat. Hopefully y'all can see that. So I'll add that to meal number three or meal number four and uh, that'll top me off to give me exactly what I need as far as my fats every day. And then meal number five, the Kashi Golin cereal that I have every day and I'm gonna add five rice cakes to that uh, to give me some extra carbs. And what I just showed you right here gives me 172 grams of protein 472 grams of carbs and then 103 grams of fats. And then I needed 442 grams of carbs, but I went ahead and got some extra ones just because. And then I got, uh, I needed 117 grams of fats, which with those extra 14 grams from the olive oil, that'll give me exactly 117. All right, so as you guys can see, if you've been watching my vlogs, this, this isn't too much different from uh, what I've been eating. Basically, I added I added the olive oil on top of one of the meals. And then for protein, I didn't even have to change anything because if you watched the very first couple of vlogs, I was eating turkey meat, and that was giving me around 162, 163 grams of protein. Now with the chicken that I've been eating lately, that gives me a little bit more protein per serving. The biggest difference comes at the end with meal number five, where I added the rice cakes all right y'all back feeling good feeling great feeling live you know not with Frodo Minute number four I got my two egg sandwiches and of course I got on my rice cake so I'm about, to, <coughs> I'm about to clear my throat I'm about to figure out some other some other way to get some extra carbs in for today you know what I mean because I'm already hitting that plateau so I'm gonna have to get in some extra food today, starting today, you know what I'm saying? So that way, next week, come time to weigh in, uh, I should be able to be up another pound or so. Anyways, I see y'all at the last meal, meal number five. But yeah, we never really got all five meals in one day, I don't think so. I always stop at, at the fourth meal. <laughs> I see y'all at meal number five. <laughs> I'm back for the fifth and final meal of today. I'm in the back room because it's like 11 o'clock and my entire family is asleep. Anyways, fifth and final meal is chicken and rice the last thing i didn't eat for today of course i'm gonna have some pecans with it and some water y'all seen the meal plan earlier so you already know what it is man uh, i understand that you know the majority of the time we're talking about weight gain but it's really all about defeating uh, yourself and becoming the best version of yourself typically if you can become successful in one area of life whether that be physical or spiritual or emotional or mental then you have a greater chance of obtaining success in those other areas of life. So, you know, start out with something small. Maybe the physical for you is the smallest. Or maybe the spiritual for you is, I hope that's not the smallest, but maybe it is uh, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? So, thanks for watching as always. You know who it is, man. Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness. Helping you defeat yourself and crush that scale. You know what time it is, man. It's always time to grow. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.